Hello, good evening, welcome. My name is Obi Dako. Welcome. I want to share with you some of the some of the things that I've been thinking of, some of the the ways and there are ideas that uh, I process. And uh, today I want to share uh, lift others up. Lift others up. Living for meaningful and fulfilling life living a purposeful meaningful and fulfilling life left out as up a lot of people have been coached and been trained to only pay attention to that which is about them a lot of people are only involved and they only concentrate when it has to benefit them. The kind of environment that we grow up in, the kind of um, training that we get, they affect the value that we have in this life or the values that we have in this life. I drove my friend to a place to help him get some, you know, some documents. And when we got there, the security guy is around. You know, before we stopped, there was this car which was coming behind us. So they were, they were honing. You know, so I moved a little. So it, it created a little scene. And I, I told the guy, why are you honing? Why can't you just be patient a little? And then I my friend got out of the car and he moved to do whatever he was doing. So he he told them to let the guy, which is me, come. So when I got there, the, the security guy said that, Oh, your driver, do you want him to come? And the action, the reaction. To him, I'm a driver. So I don't deserve any respect. The kind of environment that we have been training, they affect our sense of value for people we think don't have anything or don't have any position in society. Because for the security man, I was just a mere driver, and so I didn't count. The man that he had to give respect to was my friend. It's wrong even if I was a driver I'm a human being so if the security man has been you know he's been treated that way every day he's been treated as if he's nothing all his life just because he's a security man so for him anybody who looks like him doesn't deserve any respect his value system is weak and he will not be able to lift himself out of that, you know. If he wants to do more in life, he can only get better when he starts to pay attention to others and when he starts to lead, uh, lift others up. It's not even about him getting money or going to school or get another job. The core value system that he has, that if somebody looks like he doesn't have any status in society, that person can be talked to anyhow. That person can be treated anyhow. It's a problem. And most people are like that. Sometimes I drive my wife to some marketplace and I'll be racing in the car and some of the women or some of the people around will come around and shout and say, drive up, move, move, move. <laughs> they will show her respect, but they think that the one driving it's a driver, so he doesn't deserve any respect. It's a weak value system. There are people who work with, you know, bosses, seniors, who will never ever expose them, give them opportunities, and they will take the glory of the work that their subordinates do, and they will try to barricade them and never want them to be exposed. 
never want them to become better. There are people who even feel threatened when they open up to help other people. Because for them, they are the ones who are supposed to always be in the limelight. And they are the ones to take the glory all the time. It's a weak system. It's a weak belief system. To live a successful, fulfilling, meaningful, gratifying life, you would have to lift others. That is the essence of life. So if that is not part of the way you look at life, no matter what you acquire, no matter what this uh, position that you get in this life, you're never satisfied. It is never fulfilling. You don't get the meaning out of life because the meaning out of life is about lifting other people. One of, the, one of my greatest joys of life is whenever I see a young woman or a woman trading or doing something with a life. And my joy has always been, what can I do to support this woman who's selling on the table, who's selling uh, maybe orange, uh, who's selling cocoa? Can I help her with maybe 50 cities or 100 cities or 200 cities? Can it, can it, can it increase her capital? There is nothing as fulfilling as you becoming vulnerable to the cause of another person. And that is the essence of life. Nothing fulfills in life more than the life that is lived to lift others up. If you don't live with this philosophy, no matter the so-called accolades that you gather, life is still empty because life was designed to lift others that's why nobody is able to do anything all by themselves if you look out there is never a growth of anything until there is a meeting of something it's a philosophy of life the challenges of life destroys or destroy people who only live for their own cause everybody in this life will meet some kind of challenges. But those who live to lift others up, no challenges in this life, destroy them. And whether they have money or they don't have money, or that they have any possession or they don't have any possession, whether they have any position or no position, if their life is lived to lift others up, to give people opportunities, to get people to get better. Those are the people who live fulfilled, meaningful, and gratifying life. A lot of people say that life is painful. It's only painful to the one who is only living for himself or herself. To live a lie is a burden. And that lie is to live only for yourself. To live only for yourself. If you look at our community, if you look at the, the things, if you get up in the morning and you want to go to town or you want to go to work, there are thousand and one opportunities every day that you can get to lift somebody up, to give somebody a smile to be of help to somebody, to give somebody money, clothes, employment, training, opportunities. There are a thousand and one. If your life is, is lacking meaning, if you, have, if you are at a stage in your life where you feel like life does not make any sense, it's because you have lived for yourself. You have never, or you have stopped if you ever tried, you have stopped helping anybody. Your life is only in your world. It's about you, your wife, and your children. That's why you lose the fulfillment of life and the meaning of life. The purpose of power and privilege is to lift people up. That's the only purpose of power. 
when you get any opportunity and you call it power when you get to any position and you call it power the only reason is that you'll be the one to lift people up and help people to become better and create opportunities for people the essence of money is to lift people up money itself is meaningless is worthless until it's used to bring smile to people's faces to bring opportunities and value to reduce the pain of others that is the meaning of life if you don't change your thinking of life on this pattern you will live all your life trying to acquire everything by and for yourself and the water that stays stagnant which never moves stinks the river that flows is fresh okay so life is enjoyed when it's your mission to lift others up if people work with you they should not hide their pain from you they should not feel like if they come to tell you something you go and destroy them you should be the kind of person where everybody wants to come and share their victories, not only their problems, but their victories with you. There are a lot of people in this life who never share anything good, goodness, with people who are close to them because they don't know their reaction. Because most people are not interested in the well being of others. There are friends that you were flowing with, you were, you were all struggling. And when they got some kind of leverage, some kind of position, they will not even pick your call. They will not even look back to say, how are you? You should never be worried about that. Because the meaning of life, the fulfillment of life is seen in the lifting of others. So your friend who is busy acquiring and gathering for himself, doesn't have fulfillment of life. It's lost the meaning of life. There's no sense of purpose. There are a lot of people who are looking for purpose. They ask you, so what is my purpose in this life? They are trying to find out why, why was I made? Why, why did I come into this world? It's easy. Just make it your duty to help people with whatever you have in your hands. Your purpose will be clear. It's not magic. It's not anything. Just, just pay attention to people. Wherever you are, just if anybody comes close to you, if you employ anybody, if you work with anybody, if somebody, so far as they are human being, if they come to you, or if you go to them, and they become better because you showed up, that is how purpose is identified. So life is lived to add value to others, to give opportunities, to help people. This is how people are liberated into greatness. All the great names that you hear around the world, the only reason that you heard about them is because they stood for a cause which, was going, which, which helped people. They stood for a cause, sometimes in exchange of their own lives. But it was for others. Not for them. You mention Mandela, you mention Luther King, you mention all those people, great men and women who lived. They lived for a purpose to lift others up. That's why we, we hear of them. And a lot of them live fulfilled life. No matter all the difficulties that were around them, the challenges that are around them, so far as you focus on living your life to lift people, to help people, to make people better. There's no point that people move with you and there's so much difference between you and them. Value for human life is the primary cause of living. And it should not be part of your reasons that you only look at people and treat them well 
when they look like they deserve your respect because they dress well they smell well they drive well they live big you have seen them on tv you think that they have money that's the only reason you give them respect if you live like that you will never have any fulfillment in life you will live in pain and ache because you have broken a serious law which is to live a fulfilling life a gratifying life a purposeful life you lift others people become better because they met you that's the joy of life that is the joy of life life is lived to the fullest when your attention is focused on helping people. And that's the kind of value system that we all have to have in your business, in your career, even in your family. Some people live in a family and they're competing. Why people don't pay attention to other people's pain and, 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 and be ready to help other people is because they think that they are in competition with other people. Some husband and wives compete. Some brothers compete. They compete for success. They compete for attention. They compete on every level. You don't need to compete. You should be fulfilled in your own self. And you should never be threatened by the growth of others. By the exposure of others. You should never be threatened. You should never be that person who del deliberately trying to put others down, trying to hide some data from other people, trying to, you know, conceal things from people because they think that if those people get that kind of information, they will become better than them. If you practice life like that, you sacrifice your own fulfillment and your own destiny and your own purpose. You live a life to lift other people. That's where you get your joy and your, gra and your gratification. And so when you look around the world and you look at a lot of um, a lot of um, um, countries that are trying to you know develop, they will develop when they start to look to lift their own people up. When they start to pay attention the pain of the masses then they will start to develop so far as they don't pay attention to the masses so far as the pain of those who are suffering doesn't get to them and they drive their big cars live in their big houses and everybody must go to and, and look up to them so far as it's like that the country will live in pain and those who hold big, big positions will live a facade life, a fake life. They appear like they are they are happy, but in their heart, life is meaningless. Because they lost the key. The trick is lifting people up. The moment you start to pay attention to people, if, even if it's one person that you can help, if it's one person that you can put in school, if it's one person that you can help to succeed in business, if it's one person that who works with you that you can help them to uh, you know expand their 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 you know grow their career, what whoever it is, you will see the meaning of life. Because the meaning of life, how meaningful life is, is locked in the left hand of others. In the left in of others so it's it's a pain to only live for yourself it's a pain that's why some people say that ah, but what who can i help i'm very poor i'm struggling myself and that's a lot you know a lot of people make those kind of statements no matter who you are there's always a help that you can give to somebody somebody can help somebody with one million another person can help somebody with one city it's all help it's according to our levels but the moment you pay attention to others, 
your life starts to get meaning. Your life starts to get fulfilling. Your life starts to get purposeful. So, why people go into all kind of complexities in life and pain and struggle and depression because they try to live life for themselves and if they ever extended any help to anybody it was just to their children or their husband or their wives and the meaning of life is to place the human life above any other on this earth is a human life so if they ever told you that if you prioritize people you will live well and live a fulfilled life if somebody told you that that person helped you because once you settle that a lot of things will fall in place you have the heart to help people no matter which position that you get to there are people that you will never forget there are people who easily forget their friends they grew up with their friends that they were struggling with just because they think that they have a new position the moment you see that kind of tendency it means that the person has lost the meaning of life life is well lived it's, it's much fulfilling when you can turn around and open opportunities for people you should not be the one that people are always calling for help. Sometimes you just look back and say, what can I do to help you? What can I do? I don't have much, but this is what I have. What can I do? Can I help you with your business? Can I help you to get a contract? Can I help you to get an employment? Can I help you to build your family? Can I help you with some clothes? Can I help? What can you do to help people? That is where the meaning of life is. And most people think that once they are writing the exams and getting the certificate and going for political position and building big businesses, they will be fulfilled. There's one thing having a possession. And it's also one thing to have a position. And it's another thing to have it. To live in a life that you really know from within that you are living the life that you meant to be. And that is seen in the help that you give to people. It's so gratifying, so so at peace. You don't live a fake life. You are open. You let you let people live the life that they want. There are a lot of bosses that they they sit on people's uh, promotion, particularly in the government sector. You will never live a peaceful life when you do that. When you really intentionally. You would want to destroy somebody's life. It means that your life is lived in pain. You don't need a prophet to tell you that that man is living in pain. That man is living a life that he doesn't understand. Anytime that you see somebody openly helping people, it doesn't take the glory of another person. If somebody does anything, they acknowledge it. This is what somebody did. This is this one. This one, I didn't do it. My friend or this manager did it. They are openly, you know, they are open to 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 giving honor where it is due. They, they are open to telling the contribution of others. They don't hide. Such people, they may not hold the biggest position, but they are the ones who are enjoying life and living life and living them well. That's why you can get a billionaire who will take his life. Because all his life, he thought that if he had all the billions, he would find the meaning of life. That was a wrong purpose for money. The billions are supposed to lift lives up, improve lives. It's good to have the money. If I have a lot of them, I'll be very happy. <laughs> you know, it's good. You can help a lot of people if you have that. But even if you don't have that, whatever level that you have, for you to live a fulfilled, gratifying life, purposeful life, life at peace, help people, lift people up. There's somebody in chaos around your area who only needs just 50 cities. 
to start a business. Sometimes you may not even just have the 50 CD. Just stop, stop by and say, how are you? How are you today? How's life? Just that. You never know what to tell people. Sometimes the conversations that we have with people, just you are just there. You just stop by, you know? Say, how are you? How's the family? Just that. Sometimes the word, one word that you say to somebody, that person's life can't change. But a lot of people are just conditioned to live for themselves. That's why they are chasing happiness and they never find it. That's why they are, they are trying to drink a lot of alcohol, thinking that they will be happy and it's not there. You know, because the, the fulfillment of life is in lifting others up. And that's how you live a purposeful life. That's why you live a meaningful life. That's why you live a fulfilling life. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are just looking for the big show. Then they will be able to help somebody. Life is lived. And well lived. When what, whichever level you are, you are able to help somebody. Most people are very much mistrustful. Have you ever tried to buy something and said, oh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm paying this, I will send you back the next day. A lot of people will never do that. Why? Because people have duped them several times. I tried to do some business with some man. You buy a lot of things from him. The other time you were buying something and it was just left with just a little. You told him that he, we told him that we will send it by mobile money. The man was very much disturbed and jittery. Why? Because he felt like we will not send it. And I told, I said to him, why would I want, why would I not send your money? If I push another person business down, if I destroy another person. It's a proof that my life is living pain. So the more fulfilled that I am, the more honest that I am, the more well that I treat people, the more fulfilled that I am, the more my words I want to go by them. If I'm confused and unfulfilled, I lie easily. I cheat easily. I do people easily. I treat people anyhow because I live in an unfulfilled you know I live an unfulfilled life so the more you see your character that's the essence of lifting people up that's the essence of practicing those things because the more you see your character in compromise position this means that you are not helping people you are not lifting people you are not paying attention to people's pain You're not. So character is built when you live like that. When you live like that. A lot of people who cheat and lie and do all those things is because the meaning of life to them is only to lift themselves up. That's why they have compromised character. And anybody with compromised character is life is not fulfilled. You may look like, they may look like that. But if you talk to them one on one, life does not make any meaning to them. Because the meaning of life is really seen in how you lift others up. When you don't destroy people, you don't destroy what others have built. You don't take um, happiness in seeing people decimated. No, you are the one to collect people, you know, put people together. You are the one that everybody is destroying it. You show up, you get angry, and you want to support the one that they are destroying. That's a fulfilling life because you lift people up. If anybody does that, you see that this man has his life together. Anywhere you go and you see any scenario like that, you see any situation when people are quick to destroy and kill, it means that their life, they live in pain they don't have any meaning of life themselves and they don't know where their life is going that's why they destroy 
If you see any top politician destroying the country, or any top uh, government position, you know, destroying the country is because they live an unfulfilled life. And so we live in a country where you should not just condition yourself just to respect those who you think deserve respect. Every human deserves respect. So the security that you go to, when if you go to any organization, the security there, it always, it always amazes me when almost all of them think like we don't respect them because they are used to it. So they put up a face, they put up a front, they put up a, 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 you know, a posture because they are used to. So when you even show them respect, when you talk to them nicely, they think that you have an agenda. It should not be like that. It should not be. Can we change the culture? I think if you do it and I do it, it can be changed. It can be changed. So the people who are vulnerable, the people you think are vulnerable, you should be the one to lift them up. You should be the one to give hope to people. That's how life is well lived. It's not well lived when you're just gathering only for yourself. There are some people who have about 10 cars and their security man takes Totro to come to work. I find it very difficult to understand. All their children go to very good school and the maid does not go to school. I find it difficult to understand. How can you be a happy person and somebody lives in your house and there's a difference between your children and that one you call maid? I, I can't get it. I don't understand it. If you have to take a maid, then they should be treated just as your children. That is a proof that your life is well lived. That, that's a proof that you live life out of joy. Because you don't put a price on human life. That's a proof. But if you have to bring a mark, when people come there, they should see that there is a difference between your, ch your children and the maid. The maid eats at corner somewhere. Her confidence is destroyed. Sometimes you go to the supermarket and you see that the madam is well dressed and the maid is following the madam. And you look at the clothes. I see that that madam is living a lie. No matter what car she drives, no matter what clothes she's wearing, that is a lie. Sometimes you see some boss somewhere, you see the driver, the driver, the dress is, is, is bad and the, and the boss is dressed nicely. And you talk to the driver and you see the confidence that he shows. I know that whoever we call boss there is living in pain. Because for you to live a fulfilled life, you lift people up. He doesn't look he doesn't have to look like a driver. He just have to look like a human being. His confidence should be high. His hope should be high. Just because he's he's he's, he's in with he's with you. How can you say that you're a great man and your driver cannot even look in the eye to talk to you? It means that you have no value for human life. And as I'm sorry to say this, sometimes that culture only pays homage to the prominent, to the successful, to the rich, to the king, to the chief. That's why anybody gets in a political position, they want to put their honorable. We pay homage. We serve positions. We don't serve humans. That's why a lot of people live in pain and confused life. You want to live life out of the purest of your heart? Lift people up. Anybody around you, whether it's your cleaner, whether you, you call the person a driver, whether you call the person a maid, an assistant, whoever they are, lift them above yourself. There are a lot of clothes in your, in your you know, there's, there are a lot of shoes that you don't wear. And the people you move with have nothing. And you keep those shoes. Why do you keep them? 
you wear one shoe at a time you have thousands of them and the and the people around you have nothing it doesn't worth it it means that you live a fake life you live an unfulfilled life you have no meaning you you don't know where your life is you don't understand the meaning of life you cannot live a fulfilled life and everybody around you looks like poor it's never true the greatest of life the greatness in life the greatness of life is seen in the people you left in the people you left so anybody comes close to you they came they look like they are nothing by the time they work with you for one year they are somebody they become wise they become confident they become hopeful they start to also help other people because they came to you that means that you are living for life a meaningful life and you're fulfilled that's why you're never threatened about the success of other people you never threatened the boy that you train can become hugely successful it's never a threat you you take happiness in fact that somebody else is hugely successful and possibly or probably you contributed to that so it's a philosophy that you build It's a way of life that for you to get a meaning out of life you left people out. you help people it's not just about money and taking everything for yourself not at all who are your classmates from primary school that you ever remember that you once you called to say how are you or your friend that you think is struggling that if it, even if you didn't have anything to give, you tested that person, you WhatsApp that person, you say, how are you? It shows that your life is together. But if you had new position and all your friends change, because <laughs> now you're successful, you're living a lie. You're living a lie. And most people live like that. They get political position, they cut all their friends. You call them, they will never pick. Every political position is a mirage. There's no position at all. The next minute they'll fire you. And all the people that you think you are flowing with now, it's because of the position. That's why they, you call them the pick. If they take you out of that position, they'll never pick. <laughs> because you're never friends. They only love you because of the money or the position that you have. So lift others up. It should be your philosophy. As much little as you have. The woman that you buy watching from all the time. Can you give that woman 100 Ghana, 200 Ghana as a surprise? So that use this to support your business. Can you do that? The people who work with you. Can you surprise them? Do you have their welfare at heart? Do you pay attention to them? Because that's how fulfillment in life is gained. It's an investment in people and lifting people up. When you're dead and gone, the lives that you change will live. And people will talk about you. And that's the best form of investment. The lives that you change. So my name is Obin Dalko. I am talking about lift others up. There are a lot of people who have acquired a lot of things but still live in pain. Still much confused of life still live in depression because they miss the key they miss the key you lift others up somebody else will lift you up it's a lot don't focus on those who disappointed you it's okay it's part of life if people disappoint you it's okay but how about those who didn't disappoint you don't need everybody to remember you. Just need one. One person to remember the good that you did for them. So if you have if you have 10 million people and just one person, that one person <laughs> is enough fulfillment. Because you are doing it not for them. But you are doing it really for yourself. So that's the meaning of life. That's how you live a fulfilled life. That's how you live a gratifying life. That's that's how life becomes meaningful.
So all the clothes that you have, the opportunities that you can give to people. Don't sit on anything. Don't ever make it to your agenda. Just to treat people anyhow, talk to people anyhow. A taxi driver crosses you, and you, you because you know some police officer somewhere, you want to show him where power lies. And so it happens all the time. When people easily assume that you are nothing, they want to use state institutions to bully you. You know? Want to call the IGP or somebody to show you where power lies. If you have power, which you call power, use it to lift people. Somebody owes you and you want to use that to destroy that person. If you ever have an advantage of another person, use it to lift them. Don't destroy people because you think you have an advantage. It's a proof that you are not fulfilled and you don't even know the meaning of life. It's so rampant. I gave somebody a job today and I told him to move some item from some place to the other. I delay in catching up with him. He has stayed there for just about one hour. And I was caught up in some traffic. And when I got there, the guy was angry, saying that I came to help you. I said, no, chief, it's not help, they say. It's a business. You are taking money. So be calm. If this is the kind of behavior that you put up, then I would have to find another person. Now, he will lose that business because he just thought that because he... <laughs> I delayed him to just fly up and talk and insult. When you have an opportunity, and even if you think you're right, don't crush people. If somebody has ed, don't destroy them. It's a proof that you're not fulfilled. You're not God to destroy another man's life. Only God has the power to destroy another person. Even if you don't have the power to destroy your own life. So when somebody has offended you, don't use that as an opportunity to destroy them. Lift people up. People who are more stable, they forgive. And they forgive easily. Because they remember their own humanity. Whenever there's an incident, those who are who are ready to care and punish usually are the ones who are most guilty. So whatever opportunity that you have, use them to lift others up. Don't worry about that. I don't know why I was born in this life. I don't know my purpose. Just start where you are. Whose pain gets to you? Whose problem gets your attention? Who do you see that you're sad? What help can you give to that group or to that person? Your life will turn around if you start to do that. If you start to do that. Most people, most people can be helped. Just by a little help. Five city, ten city, twenty city. If you decide as a people to pay attention to attention to the people who go through our communities who feel like they have nobody. The shoe shine boy, the yogurt boy, the woman who is selling banana, the track pusher, the security man that who feels like nobody respects him. Those people. Even if they offend you, be merciful. Because they already feel like nobody respects them. And they already, they already have a lot that they are dealing with. The king is a People that you think you're better. You, you think you're better. I don't think you're better. But you think you're better than them. So you get there, you speak your English, and you roll your khaki. What you don't know is that most of them have that money to buy that car. They only don't want it. <laughs> so talk to people nicely. Help people. If somebody calls you for help and you can help them, 
somebody is looking for a job they bring their cv if you can help them help them be eager to give help to people if you can help be eager that's the meaning of life that's how you live a fulfilled life the help that you if, if you start to pay attention you see that your life will be different and that's why you even can take more pain can take more pain because you can pay attention to those who are suffering to those who are suffering and it's a gift that makes life fulfilling and beautiful and I wish a lot of our people will pay attention and help people and turn around look around look around we can all always give help to someone you have a lot of clothes you are not wearing them somebody needs them and you pack them and they are there you say that if you go you go, if you go and give it to them they'll use it for juju <laughs> nobody will use anything for juju some even some some even say that if you give money to the people on the street they will use it they will not use anything hey people let's pay attention there's nothing like that Help people. Nothing like that. If you can build a house for somebody, build it. The most vulnerable in a society need more help than any other. When it comes to Christmas, that's what amazes me. When it comes to Christmas, the people, the powerful are the ones who get a lot of the gifts. The hampers, they send it to the cast, uh, to the to the flaster house, you know. To the bosses, to the to the chiefs, the security man, nobody gives him anything. Yet, those are the ones who need that kind of gift. Because they are as women as we are. Everyone. So, give gifts to the people who cannot pay you back. Give gift. Today, is a friend, somebody, I call a friend, who ran to me. He said, I've come here to wait for you. child is sick I need 200 to take the child to, to hospital and when he was talking he was crying I said I don't have 200 but I have 150 maybe you can take it and later come you open your door so that when others have trouble the genuine ones, they can turn to you. Because at that critical moment of his life, I'm glad that he thought that there could be somebody that he could come. Can the people who are helpless freely knock on your door? And can you help them? You should create that environment where people's interests become your interests. When a young graduate work with you, the national service, and it's coming to an end, be the one to help that child, that young graduate, to find a place to work. Don't be the one to say that now that you have finished your service, go and look for some place. You frustrated the service people are now they are confused. I remember when we were doing our national service, when we were about to finish, the man was saying, so what are you going to do? <laughs> I said, no, me, I don't want to be healed. <laughs> but at least somebody should have said that, listen, I, we think that we can give you an offer here to trade. No. They are the ones to sack you because they feel like when you stay there, you take their job. It's because they lived an empty life. If you live the fulfilled life, you never threaten because somebody is around. Never. You are never threaten that somebody is around. Because you know the value that you bring. You know the value that you bring. So pay attention. If you can help anybody, it's not a good. Don't live for yourself. Live to lift others. Live to lift others. Let somebody be happy. 
than they met you. Give books to somebody. Recommend something to somebody. Give people knowledge, information. Give people help, money. Sometimes it's your connections that can help somebody. If you cannot say that you love people and never be committed to that which can make them better, that's a lie. If anybody says that they are so much interested in your well-being and they never make any sacrifice towards your dream, they are lying. They are lying. If anybody so much says that, you know, I am very much interested in what you're doing, let's say you are doing a business, you are selling something. And the person says that, oh, no, we are very much happy. We are glad that you are doing this business, but they never buy anything from you. They never help you to promote anything. They are lying. They are just saying it through their mouth. If they so mean what they are saying, they will, they will recommend your place to people. They will bring people to buy from you. They will help you. That's a proof of the genuineness of their heart. And such people live of your life. They are not fake. There are a lot of people who are fake in this life because they are not strong they have not built themselves if you have built yourself you are ready to help people because you are fulfilled in your own right but there are a lot of people that you cannot even tell when you're successful you can't tell them because the face and the heart prove that they are not happy because they are weak, because they have not spent their life to build themselves and to see the meaning of their own life, you know, because they never helped anybody. If you help people, you don't get the step that somebody else is doing well, because your life would have been well lived. If it was your philosophy to genuinely contribute to the others, to the lives of others, to open doors for others, to encourage people to become better, to contribute, to sacrifice, to give money to people, you do that without expecting any return from them. But without expecting anybody to pay back to you. That is a sign that you have lived a fulfilled life. So you never disturb. So nothing fulfills in this life more than lifting other people up. Giving opportunities to people. Helping people. The challenges of life only destroy those who only live for themselves. Mainly, challenges come to everybody, but those who live bad for themselves, those are the ones that can overcome these challenges and become better. It's a burden to live a lie, and that lie is that for you to become great, you only have to live for yourself, and it has to be you and your family and your business and nobody else. Everything has to run, get around you. That is a painful life to live. The purpose of power is to lift people up. There's no point trying to acquire money if you cannot help people. The wealth is for people to be lifted up. Most people have weak meaning of life. So they don't add value to others. They don't create opportunities for others. They live all their life to block others from getting better because they are weak. And if anybody does that, you rather have to... Uh, pain for them because it means that they live in pain people who are joyfully helping people are people who are fulfilled in this life so let people around you be liberated fulfilled into their greatness if you have any information that will help somebody to be to become better give them there should not be any people who live around you whether it's a driver your mate your house help whose life look like they live for the poor man. There should not be difference between you and your children and your children. There should not be difference between your mate and your child or your driver and even your son or yourself. You call them driver. Why should you even call them driver? So our conditioning has, has always made us to only look for our interests. You know, so people are in constant competition with their friends, with their mates for nothing. If you're in constant competition with somebody, you don't know yourself. You don't know your value. You don't know the, the essence of why you are alive. And you live in pain. So you think that you can fulfill that pain or you can fill that hole 
by acquiring a lot of things and trying to look like you are rich, you are not rich. The essence and the fulfillment of life is not so much in acquisition of things, but in lifting people up. So you live to the fullness of life when that becomes your principle. That becomes your principle. And so prioritize people is the strongest value system to give others priority and help people. And let people who come around you always become better. And don't compete with people. Never. Create opportunities. If somebody works with you and they want to start their business and you can help them, help them. And never worry about those who seem to be ungrateful. That's not your job. Your job is to just help people. The job of the of God is to, you know, control everybody. You are not God, so you can't control. <laughs> and you don't have to control anybody. And you don't have to hinder anybody from becoming better. Just do the best that you can as a human being. To help people. It's the best form of life. So when people say that, I don't know what to do with my life, I'm very unfulfilled, I don't know the purpose of my life, it's because they are not lifting anybody up. So take it as a, upon yourself. Tomorrow, look around. Who are the people that you can help? Help them. You start to make meaning out of life. You think there are a lot of people struggling in life. I wonder what you are, the letter that you can do to support somebody, to give. You know, if it's a school fees that you can pay, if it's some prisons that you can help somebody there, if it's a career that you can help somebody to build, if it's a job that you can help somebody to get, business that you can help somebody to get, a call that you can place to your friend that who you were so much close with, but now you think you're a big man, so you have drawn a line. It's useless. It's useless. Sometimes just hundred city to that friend will change their lives. I'm not talking of those who are calling every day. I'm talking of those who are just living somewhere, fighting their own fight. And sometimes they just need a little help. Maybe you will be that one to help them. And nothing fulfills them that. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. Harry, thank you.